Extending and enhancing the life of your Mac or PC. Welcome back to Text Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Other World Computing, OWC, is founder and CEO Larry O'Connor. Great to chat with you again, Larry. Yeah, likewise, Fred. Thanks for having me on. And you are in Amsterdam at a convention there unveiling some great new additions to your product line. This is the uh, IBC International Broadcasting Convention. That would be correct. And we're setting up today so we can have a great show this week, showing off all these new goodies. And what you're showing is important to people in that industry and a lot of other people, too. So let's talk about it. What what are you unveiling there? We are going to show off the first portable Thunderbolt 5 solution ever. And that'll be our Envoy Ultra, which at speeds of 6,000 megabytes a second, bus power. is also uh, the first waterproof, dustproof uh, Thunderbolt 5 solution. So it completes, continues the Envoy, uh, completes with the Envoy FX, which is also dustproof, waterproof, and the highest performance for Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 Max. Wow. And that's just one that's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg, of course. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's get into it here. What what does that mean? Uh, Thunderball 5 is going to be important initially, I think, to a pretty small segment of, of folks. In a uh, in a longer period of time, as demands go up and there's more systems that have Thunderball 5 can we're going to see a lot more demand. But initially, yeah, Thunderbolt 5 is a little bit faster on I mean, some of the existing hardware. And of course, it you know, makes you future ready for the full speed when Thunderbolt 5 is on more Macs and more, I should say, the first Macs and of course, more PCs out there. And this doubles the speed of uh, from Thunderbolt 4, is that right? Thunderbolt 5 actually as much as triples the bandwidth across that cable which is very important for display. For data, we're doing a little bit better than double the uh, the data rate of Thunderbolt uh, 3 and 4. Thunderbolt 3 slash 4, I really like to just call it Thunderbolt 40 gigabit, is PCI Gen 3. Uh, Thunderbolt 5 goes to PCI Gen 4 lanes, which double the uh, performance per lane. For data devices, though, yes, we're doubling the speed. For display support, you know, there's up to actually 120 gigabits of bandwidth. So we can support more higher, more higher resolution displays off the same port. And what's really important about this with Thunderball Five is the impact to somebody who has you know limited ports on their system. Even if you're running through a hub or a dock, and you want to have multiple multiple displays, you know, with a th with a current system with 40 gigabits, you put on a 5K and even a 4K display, you're cutting into the available bandwidth that would be reserved for data. With Thunderball 5, because it has that additional 40 gigabits to support display primarily, now when you put on even a couple 4Ks, even a couple 5Ks, you still have ample bandwidth available for the data site. You're not going to impact through a single port. You can run a high-speed data device and multiple displays for the first time with everything you know, effectively running at full speed. So that that's a, that is a nice step forward that Thunderball 5 you know, brings to you know, all these systems as, as Thunderball 5 becomes incorporated. So these new these new drives that you're unveiling here, uh, what capacities will be will be available? Initially, in the portable, uh, there'll be two terabyte and four terabyte, and we're pushing very very quickly to move that to eight terabyte as well. Cool. And prices, I, I think, start at about four hundred dollars or so, something along those lines. Uh, just under four hundred dollars is where these these Thunderbolt Five solutions will start. People may be curious, why make these waterproof? But there is a case for that, right? <laughs> well, uh, I tell you what, being in Amsterdam uh, already for a day and you know, the, the frequency of the rain showers here, you know, there's always the potential to be surprised by the elements, whether it's a rain shower that you weren't ready for or just an accidental drop that exposes it to elements that you wouldn't intentionally uh, otherwise put your drive through. You know, call it peace of mind, call it, you know, be ready for anything, especially out in the field. We have a lot of customers that shoot, you know, doing shoots in the field, but then you know, need to ingest their data off the different media cards that they're shooting with, then duplicate data. And it's at the end of the day, it's it's one less thing they have to worry about if your drive is impervious to you know, damage by water. What were the challenges you had to overcome to do that? Well, there's, uh, I guess I'll just leave it like this. There's nothing, uh, there's no current support in Thunderbolt 5 technology 
for certifications around connectivity and such that's waterproof. So there are some engineering adjustments, some innovations that are incorporated into the product, even cable to ensure that this product is truly, uh, well, it, it gets dropped, if it goes a dip, goes for into, into a plunge, you know, the data will be safe. Interesting. And so it's called secret sauce. <laughs> Speaking of cables, that's your other announcement there. Yeah, we have our Thunderball 5 cables initially up to one meter. Uh, you know, what's really interesting and you know, kind of fun to know, all of our Thunderball 4 cables, 0.3 meter, 0.7 meter, and 1.0 meter actually support Thunderball 5 speed. So they're a pretty good deal right now in terms of being able to get a full, fully compatible, full speed cable. Doesn't say Thunderball 5, but it's fully Thunderball 5 capable and at full Thunderball 5 speeds. Our Thunderball 5 cables actually come out now at 0.3 meters, 0.8 meters, and 1.0 meter. There will not be two meter Thunderball 5 cables until sometime next year. And tell us a little bit about why the, the cables here are so important. I mean, uh, to an average consumer, they may look at it and say, hey, that's that's just a USB-C port. But... <laughs> You know, the number one tech support call that we typically get with USB-C devices, high-speed USB devices, you know, with Thunderbolt, is why it's either not running at full speed or why it's not working. You know, and it comes down and, and, and it ultimately comes down to a cable. You know, you get this nice cable that comes with your laptop to charge your laptop, power your laptop as an example, really high quality, but it only supports USB two speeds. It's not a data cable. You know, you can walk to the store. I mean, there's a Zing. You can go to a million different places and buy a million different USB-C cables. And we don't even, I don't even want to get any USB-C cables for USB-C. Certifications are important. Power delivery over these cables is really important. I mean, these cables, there's now up to 240 watts that can trans, that can go over, you know, a USB-C cable. You know, the wrong cable or not, even a cable that's not been UL certified, there's a lot that goes into cables in general. But they can buy us back. First of anything you buy at the OWC brand on is going to perform exactly as promised and as expected without surprises. No matter what you're connecting, it's always going to work. You don't have to worry about it being a data device or a power device. You know, the highest speed device, for that matter, do you use it to charge your laptop or connect your Thunderblade X8 or your your, your Thunder Bay or you know or your display, for that matter, this USB-C? It will work every time. It's not a kind of you know, pull it out, hope it works, and if that didn't work, on to the next one. And the you compatibility know, and quality, is, it's, look, I now travel just with ODBC, USB-C cables, or, or Thunderbolt cables, because, again, no matter what I need to do, it always works. It's one universal cable. And that's, you know, it's, it's for what these, these go for, I mean, it's a very inexpensive piece of insurance to know when you got to get it connected and going, and you don't want to lose time on you know that, that cable guesswork. I can I can go I, I talk way too much on this. I'm actually going way too further, just too far into the uh, into the minutia. But ultimately, when you want it to work, I mean this is a cert this is fully certified, you know, through Thunderbolt. Thunder by being Thunderbolt certified means every standard that's below, slower, lower power, whatever it may be, beneath that Thunderbolt, you're gonna work and that's everything. Right. And, and of course, people have, have come to know your company, uh, Larry, for, for decades now. And uh, the reliability and the quality, the attention that you put into the product. The website is OWC.com. Larry O'Connor, thank you for spending time with us and have a great show there. Enjoy Amsterdam. We will. We will. Hey, check out the Jellyfish, the Thunder, the, uh, the Thunder Bay uh H, check out the Thunderblade X8, all these you know, great products that are well, always pushing the envelope and uh, making it easier for you to do you know, the things you want to do. You don't work for the technology, it works for you. I'll just leave it like that. That's the way it ought to be. Thanks, Larry. Yes, sir. Thank you, Fred. Appreciate it. <laughs>